Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Rage, and we are back today with some new Escape from Kiln uh, gameplay here featuring the Spider-Verse skill section uh, characters at gear tier 18. Remember, um, Spire Society is basically the strong option here outside of, um, you know, other notable characters like Black Cloud and Craven, just because of their synergy that we'll be utilizing. So for me personally, um, you know, use the best Spire Society characters for myself. I decided to bring in Peter B um, with this strong sustain, Penny Parker for the energy supplementation, and then as well as Spider-Man Pav, just because um, these, this trio has a good mixture of supplementation of da um, damage, uh, sustain, as well as a crowd controlling aspects with energy regen. Uh, having said that, let's get right into it. The cells 41 to 43 gameplay. Now, what's really cool about the three characters here is you can also bring them into Dark Dimension 7 and Dark Dimension 8. So there's a ton of value, as well as them obviously being staples right now for the skill section for um, Orcus Raids, as well as, um, you know, the Incursion. Lots and lots of value. So this first note here, you do want to be focusing in on some of the damage dealers because we are up against a Cabal Synergy. Um, so for myself, you can see here, these characters don't have a lot of HP, um, especially given the Synergy that we have. And again, I decided to put Peter B in the middle because he is really tanky and has great sustain. Um, taking down Namor with no issues whatsoever. Then we focus on Aaron Patriot here. So not too bad. Um, you can see this is just a really quick um, uh, node overall. Just enemies are dropping by. The one thing to be mindful of in this initial node is that Kang to the far left there. Just because uh, once he drops, you know, you want to be mindful of his abilities. That's why we have Penny Parker uh, coming in with uh, energy regen but as well being able to have those timely stuns um, it's okay to leave you know characters like absorbing man and leader for the very end taking down damage dealers is going to give us a time here um, to focus on the tanks and once again regenerate energy because you uh, these abilities do persist over to the next node so you do want to be mindful of that and that way um, you are being strategic and managing your cooldowns effectively Overall, doing pretty good here. You can see, um, you know, they're doing a little bit of work on us, but that's okay. Uh, you should make pretty quick work of these characters, uh, slowly but surely. And remember, take your time because every time that Penny does a basic ability, um, you know, she's gonna be generating energy for the team, and that's gonna be uh, better setting us up for the next node, especially when you can start things off with uh, Pav's uh, ultimate or special. It hits like a truck. Yeah, I actually have my ISOs actually mixed up here because. I have both Penny and Pav on Striker. Um, ideally, if you have a, you know, a uh, Pav at Raider, he would have been applying some vulnerable. So we didn't even have that, but overall, still worked really good um, with the synergies here. Just cleaning up here, boom, 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 and abomination down, just like that. So here we go, on to the next node now. I definitely do think this second node is going to be the hardest one out of the three, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and again, this is the first time I'm playing this, but um, when I was going through it, I think that was where I felt the, the amount of pushback and difficulty uh, being based upon. But overall, very smooth compared to what we've seen in the previous nodes. I, I definitely feel the bio... Uh, villain was actually more difficult than these three nodes just because it was more of a kind of a roster check if you have Spire Society characters built up. But um, the first issue here that we do need to deal with is the synergy here of Black Knight as well as Red Hulk. Uh, gotta be mindful of these characters because um, obviously with them being very meta and they can obviously uh, retaliate. But you can see this is, um, I feel like this is a nerf version of uh, Black Knight just because he doesn't hit as hard. But keep in mind too, we also have our characters geared up for Dark Dimension 8 and 7 with the gear tier 18 and 19 uh, uh, um, purple ISO. So that definitely helps a lot. I recommend stunning uh, Red Hulk to the left here. You can see almost a one shot with uh, Penny's abilities there. These enemies absolutely dropping with the bleeds. And it's pretty short work afterwards. Um, you can see the synergies there of once again the secret defenders of Black Cat and Photon. But I would... Um, once again, just focus on some of the uh, the damage dealers here. We use the special of Peter B to cleanse some of the buffs so that way the death proofs are taken care of. And I would recommend focusing on Black Cat just because um, she has a lot of control and if she slows us down, um, definitely could impact your gameplay, especially if you don't have these characters like Gear Turn 19. Um, oh, sorry, Pav is at 18, my Penny is at 19, and Peter B is also at 19. So it definitely helps for sure. Once again, if you're left with Photon and Captain America, uh, highly, highly recommend just use the basic abilities, save your energy. Um, that way you're going to be starting off right on the next node. You can see we're basically at full uh, regen once again. Um, thanks to the Penny's just energy generation, absolutely massive for the synergies here of Spire Society. 
So easy, easy work of these first two notes so far. Um, you know, and again, um, it's more of a roster check in my honest opinion. You could probably, if you're being careful, you could probably auto it. You just gotta make sure you're targeting the right characters at the right time. So now that just leaves us here um, with the last and final uh, sell here for 43 featuring this Spider-Verse skill characters. Now, you, you know, to be honest, you could probably get away with some of the other characters non-spire society but you it just has so much value if you're already building them up for raids and, and dark dimension honestly just a no-brainer so this one um going down the middle makes the most sense because we are up against the mixture here of superior six characters as well as um some hive mind uh so if you go down the middle of pav it's gonna hit like a truck because you're just um hitting everybody together you're gonna comboing that up with peter b special once again cleansing the positive buffs from the enemies um you know taking away any advantage they have against us and then once again using the big ultimate from penny back to back um the big stun on red goblin highly recommend just that way you know he's not be getting his turn um that's gonna spawn this last wave here and again um because they don't have the supporting cast um it's business as usual we're just going through the motions here what is notable though is um you gotta be very careful uh the reason we focused on those in initial wave of enemies is that synergy here with lizard if lizard comes out um with the synergies of the other characters it can be very very dangerous and you'll see pretty shortly here in the gameplay right he has a powerful ultimate ability um that just stacks a bunch of buffs and uh, honestly it's hard to get through he strips our buffs and he's, he can be very very hard to get through uh, unless you just have raw power which we do in this case but um that's why you want to be careful in that initial wave focus on those key enemies like i said the supporting cast of sinister six superior six synergies uh, and that way um you can deal with these two characters with no issues whatsoever vulture and lizard are more of a supporting cast in terms of uh giving you uh, the other characters more power and pro uh proficiency and in this case we took that took them down before it so there you guys have it um first three nodes done taken care of here with spire society no issues whatsoever and again it's just understanding um the waves and managing those so hopefully this is helpful you guys um let me know what you think in the comments below i'll be out with some other gameplay here um with the other cells as i work through it thank you for your time as always and i'll catch you guys in the next one